Hey guys, this is Alberto Cordero over here and today we're going to be talking about how to import an SVG file and turn it into something like this. Like I took my logo and that I designed as a vector and I imported it into Blender and voila, there we go. So let's do that. So right now I'm just going to hit right here, create new from scratch and go something like that. Let's go like this. All right. And this doesn't matter. I just need to uh, show the floor. There you go. So I know where, where I'm at. So I have my logo design here. This is a vector file. You know, uh, I can, you know, I designed this in Adobe Illustrator, but I'm using right now uh, Affinity. So I'm just going to delete the background and I'm going to be here and going to export uh, SVG file right there. Export is I already have it, um, you know, export over there. So I'm just going to skip that. And now in Blender, I'm just going to go over here, go to File, go to Import, go to SVG, and select the SVG file. Just hit Import, and there we have it. It's going to rotate this in the X axis to have it something like this. I'm going to move it something around that to have it in the middle, something like that. And obviously, we don't have a you know a depth to this, so we're going to do that in a second. But let me just uh, explain a little bit the, uh, what's going on here. This is right now is a curve. The edges of the object is, is a curve. If you go and let's go to layout right here. There you go. If you go outside, you're going to see that uh, we have this icon right here, this little icon right there. And we have data for uh, any of these parts that we have over here. So I'm just going to select all that. I'm going to select this one last and the control J to join everything. And let me activate here. Uh, this there you go so now everything is joined and i'm just gonna put the pivot point right in the middle and i'm gonna select here origin to 3d cursor and right up also you can do that if you go to uh, object set origin and right here but i have already my favorite so it's faster for me so now that we have this i'm going to give it a little bit of like thickness to this all right so i'm just going to go over here and right under geometry in extrude, I'm going to give it a little thickness. If we have this little weird shading going on, and uh, we're going to fix that in a second. So now that I have that, I'm like, okay, I can work with this, you know. Um, yeah, I, I can do that. And uh, this it works just like a curve, but if you want to do some extra modeling, you're going to have to convert this into a mesh. So that's what we're going to do next. So... To convert one object into a mesh, this is a simple process. You just go to object, go to convert, and mesh. The other way is, so if you go uh, hit a space in, in case you have dynamic context menu activated, you can do it like right here or press F3, and it's going to bring the same menu. You can just type convert, and it's going to tell you where exactly, exactly what it is like object convert mesh the same process that i told you right here and i already have it in the my quick favorite so right here just gonna press that mesh and there you have it obviously the you know the, the poly is gonna be a little messy but uh you know uh we can deal with that too you just clean it up you know I, we're not gonna do that in this tutorial but just to show you that uh, yeah, the process. So I'm just going to clean the normal issue that we have. Just uh, go to auto, auto smooth or go over here and go to normals and right here and press this one right here. It's the same. It's the same thing that I have right here. I just have it already uh, in the quick access. There we go. Now that we have this, uh, I think you're, yeah, you're, you're ready to go and ready to create some cool animations and, you know, stuff like that, like I did. On this one, I don't have any animation, but I created like a quick scene with uh, lights and some bloom and um, uh, some stuff. I, I can show you how to do that stuff in you know, maybe in the next tutorial, in another, in another tutorial. And I have, uh, this is an E for right now. This is now cycles. If I turn this into cycle, uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see how this looks. The only difference is I don't have... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. go here go to world i don't have this and the other one so in cycles it doesn't work the same way but all right so there you go that's how you import a an svg file into blender and how you you know how you can give a little bit of thickness and work with that and uh, do some cool stuff with your logo right
So thank you for watching. If you like the content, please uh, hit the like button and see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.